In this video, we will learn how to calculate active versus passive funds in investing. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice calculating how investment management fees, called expense ratios, can affect the total balance in your mutual fund account. For a bit of background, a mutual fund is an investment in a collection of stocks, bonds, and other securities. This allows individual investors like you and me access to diversified, professionally managed portfolios. However, we must keep an eye out for annual management fees, called expense ratios, which can affect our overall returns. We will be taking a look at a few elements when analyzing our overall returns, our total, which is our profit and our initial investment combined, the management fees that we have to pay, and our ending balance. Let's take a look at this example. You invested $15,000 into an actively managed mutual fund named ABC Mutual Fund. Turns out that we had a 9% rate of return and this particular fund has an expense ratio of 1.3%. First, we are asked how much profit we made in one year with a 9% rate of return. Let's calculate 9% of our investment of $15,000. 9% written as a decimal is 0 0.09. Then I can punch this into the calculator to get 1,350. This means we earned $1,350 in the past year. Now let's look at question B, where they ask us how much we pay in management fees. The expense ratio, which when you remember from earlier is just the fancy talk for management fees, is based on the fund's total amount at the end of the year which is equivalent to the initial investment plus the profit from the last year. This means we can take our initial investment of 15,000 and add the profit we solved from question A, which is 1,350. This means the total amount in the fund after a year is $16,350. The expense ratio of 1.3% is then applied to the fund's total amount. This means we can calculate 1.3% of $16,350. 1.3% as a decimal is 0 0.013, which when multiplied to 16,350 is equal to $212.55. This means we had to pay $212.55 in management fees alone. Our last question C asks us what the account balance of our mutual fund is after the fees. So all we have to do here is take the total value and subtract the fees that we calculated from question B. Our total of $16,350 minus the management fees of $212.55 is equal to $16,137.45. This is the account balance in our actively managed ABC mutual fund. Now it's your turn. Your cousin invests the same amount and gets the same rate of return, but instead chooses to invest in a passively managed fund that is linked to the S&P 500. Her expense ratio is only 0.1%. Go ahead and practice calculating your cousin's profit, fees, and account balance after fees. First, how much profit did she make in one year? Nice work. Now, how much did she pay in management fees? Awesome. So what is her final account balance after fees? Nice. Now let's compare your cousin's account balance to your account balance after fees. How much more did your cousin gain in her passively managed account versus your actively managed account? So what have we learned from calculating active versus passive funds? Whenever we are comparing investment funds to choose from, we should always take into consideration the expense ratios. Let's recap what we just did. First, we multiplied the rate of return to the initial investment to find the profit. Then, we calculated the total value by adding the initial investment and profit. Next, we multiplied the expense ratio to the total value to find the management fees. 
Lastly, we subtracted the management fees from the total value to get the account balance after fees. Good job on learning how to compare active versus passive funds in investing. Continue on to the practice problems on your worksheet. You got it.